Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Today's gospel helps us to realize that there's a significant difference between pride and being humble. When someone is full of pride, they think they're better than everyone. When someone is humble, they realize their place in the eyes of God and amongst their brothers and sisters. The passage from Luke says, Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the others, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts oneself will be humbled and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, it's very clear that in this passage, in the example of the parable that Jesus gives, it's very clear that God is moved by the heart of the humble tax collector rather than that of the prideful Pharisee. It can be easy for us at times to look at ourselves and think of ourselves as better, better than someone else. I'm more educated. I'm more successful. I'm more this. I'm more that. And yet in the eyes of God, he doesn't see pride as a good character trait, does he? In the eyes of God, he sees humility. He sees the heart. He sees somebody who is not perfect, mind you, but is striving to live holiness, who recognizes that I'm a sinner in need of God's mercy. And so the tax collector's simple prayer, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, catches the attention of God, and it should catch our attention too. Notice how the Pharisee continues to talk, I, 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 I am great, I do this, I do that, I pray, I tithe. What's important for us to understand, friends, is indeed, while those are all very important things and we should all be doing them, when we have to justify ourselves before God, what does that actually say about ourselves? When we can be humble before God, that's where we put a smile on his face. So needless to say, if I were to ask ourselves the question, what do I want to be? A disciple of pride or a disciple of humility? I doubt any one of us would pick the former. We'd all pick the latter. And yet sometimes we can be as blind as the Pharisee is and justify oneself before God, and perhaps others too. Today, the church invites us into a reflection of how can each of us be more humble? Sometimes even eating humble pie. Maybe you've heard that phrase before. I know in my own life, and I'm ashamed to admit this here in the podcast, I know I need to grow in humility. I look for ways like the saints, especially in dealing with conflict or confrontation, in which people like Therese of Lisieux saw ways in which, when dealing with a difficult sister, to praise God by her response, by biting her tongue, by choosing the higher path rather than the path of self-righteousness. 
I don't know about you, but this inspires me. If Therese can do it, so can I. And why aren't I doing it? Here I am, an educated person. I say I love God. I'm a priest. What are the ways in which I can grow in humility? Perhaps, friends, you might go through the same exercise today and ask God to help you to be more humble. Whether you too are a priest, maybe you're a single person, a married person, a parent, a young person, wherever we find ourselves, humility is indeed a gift from God, a grace from God, and one that we should unpack and use in our daily lives. A broken, humbled heart, O God, you will not scorn. The passage doesn't say a prideful heart you will celebrate. God is very clear. The one who humbles himself will be exalted. Think of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She never went on and on about how great she is, how God chose her above everyone else. Sometimes we need to keep our ego in check and drink some of that humble Kool-Aid that helps us to realize that indeed God sees us and delights in us, but at the same time, I'm no more better than anyone else. Pride versus humility. What a great concept for us to focus on today. How can we grow in humility? Lord, help us to be humble. Help us to be more self-aware. Help us to imitate you and what we say and do. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. Let us grow in humility together. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.